abtreten. Herr Hedler. Ich sehe doch mal, ob der Gefangene schon benehmungsfähig ist. Und wenn ja, lassen Sie mich bitte allein mit. Ja, genau wie im Fall Rositzki. Natürlich in D, I, K, E. K, E. Schaut hier was! Bitte mit diesen sinnlosen Hoheiten. You know, if you job, I've anticipated the pleasure of meeting you for years. There's the hunting of big game. I'm convinced that I would have become more fitting field of action. My branch of it. So you see, it's quite natural that I should know who you are. Yes, my dear Thorndike, I should have recognized you on sight. A man whose brother was... I found him a credulous simpleton. Rather. I would have staked my life that no living animal that can catch sense upon the wind that has mastered the trick. This house would be cut down before he'd taken five steps. It's some skill that is required to use it. That range, I checked it. Surely you don't think I'm an assassin. intended to shoot. I merely wanted to find out if it were possible. Miss Ondike. I dare say I... A what? A sporting stock, stocking... Permit me to doubt your claims as a hunter of big game if you fail to understand... Most dangerous of all animals, man. But you don't kill with a rifle. If I can stock an animal and get within range, the rest that isn't going to let me get near enough to shoot. Your conversation... The decadence, not only of yourself, but of your entire race. People, by returning to the primitive virtues, such as going back to the barbarism of decapitating your world, Heil Hitler! Your name signed to this. Later, it will be witnessed by the Chief of Secret. It is a confession that on this 29th day of July, 1939... I what? That you have acted no intention to shoot? Of course, I told you it was a sporting stock. Then why didn't you... ...is that... ...that it wouldn't have been sporting. It wouldn't... Nonsense. I don't expect you to understand. Even for them. It had to be a loaded rifle with my finger. I mean no insult, but how do you expect me to describe a man who wants to play? You are in no position to refuse. That's how well do you stand pain. Very well. Ekna. You be named as anything Fangenan. to speak with them. Of course. Has a man no privacy even in his own home in the middle of the night? I told him I would see. Yes, Rizabra speaking. Uh, good evening, Your Excellency. I'm sure I don't know Your Excellency. Have you called his club? I will. We cannot, of course, neglect any member of your lordship. <laughs> Sportsman, you know. Always running off. Maybe on his ranch in Canada. Spends a lot of time there. The man is a fool. Absolutely honest. I should hesitate to question the association with Lord Risborough. I'm conv always glad to be of service, idiot. Exasperatingly stubborn. Believe me, my dear, your name, and it'll be important for us that you live. You will receive the best of medic. Why keep on torturing yourself? Because I don't like force, everyone else. Well, I'm one man saying. 
You are, in fact, taking your own life. Isn't it? What is? My suicide. This is. You won't change your mind about this. Certainly. Passport in your wallet. Clean you up and... Doctor. So weiter. Lass dich nicht wissen, wenn der Wagen vorgefahren ist. People in England that know that men of my character don't do... No one will question what we find when we found it. Come and see. back by now. We are going to sail. British registry. But you're British. <laughs> I'd know you were British anywhere, sir. Have you... about a woman? We waste two days. We sail tonight as soon as this policeman serves the ship. Wait. I'll come with you. I'll take your coat. I don't need you. Please. Oh. Yeah. Pack up a tent, Julie, on the stands. Sure, Turner. Vena. Can you take a passenger? Passenger? His papers are in order, and he has money. Oh, here he is. Mr. Thorndike. It's a pleasure, sir. To London. This is my passport, Captain. I suppose. 
surprised you, Mr. Vayner. He's not here. Captain Jensen's on deck, sir. Come, I take you ashore with me. Thank you. Hartig. I must have. Wart it off. Isn't this going to get you into trouble? Oh, probably, sir. But I don't mind. I don't think you ought to leave the ship yet, sir. From the way you described him, I've never laid eyes on the man or he on me. You know, Varner, there are some things that to try. You've taken me on trust, my boy. Of course, sir. Things, sir. Huh? It wasn't a woman. Good luck, sir. And be careful. Thank you. Goodbye, old boy. Ständig verschwunden ist. Keine Spur. Saved my life. Saved your life? Cop. And now I realize I am the fatter cop. Wish any blokes what are after you. You won't believe me when I tell you that I've never before laid eyes. Made a murder? Mm -hmm. However, I s your memory will be imperishable as long as I live. The last thing in the world I want to do is involve an innocent. But I need the loan. Blaine never before entertained a desperate gentleman. I've simply got to get to my bed far on foot. Especially with these other gentlemen in the street. I need a pocket. I am for the moment absolutely penniless. Come off it. Allow me to thank you. Well, will ten Bob do? To lend all you've got is a pretty big loan. Mr. Allen? Yes, sir, the young lady, my lord. It's the scar. Oh, those revolting clothes. Must see you alone. Immediately. That's odd. What is your name? Jerry. Jerry Stoke. How'd you do? I must talk to you. It's please. Oh, very well. Thanks very much. Now, uh, just a half. Of course I do, and a great deal more than I can ever repay you with money. Here. Talked again? Alf. Here. Alf. I tell <laughs> you that. I might need it later on. Five quid. Uh, won't you sit here? How could you have got yourself in this awful mess? How did you know? More well, pointed. Then not ten minutes ago, the foreign office. I told them, of course, that the suggestion was fantastic. But the truth, isn't it? Yes, Gerald. Sit down, Gerald. 
Right? It's a bit of all right, though, if you ask me. A real swell. Dicks! Coppers! Good, aren't you? Back into Germany. They've got to catch me first. And would only involve the government. Besides, every shit and return to Berlin to refuse their ambassador, that would be an unfriendly. You mean I might even have the honor of having my head? But England would be convicted before the world trial. You know their genius for producing witness. I will become invisible myself. I shall vanish utterly completely. Old boy, by not worrying, this whole thing will blow over before long. It's bound to. I've got one of my dreadful headaches coming on. I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. At the door. No, I shan't. But after all, she's your guest, you know. I can't. I. <laughs> I? Well, I'm not the gentleman, miss. In fact, I'm not a gentleman. <laughs> Jerry. Good night, Mr. Reeves. And it was Lion's Corner House. Us. Hope to see you very soon. Good night, Helen. Come along, Jerry. Gerald, Major Smith's calling on the telephone again. I'm not at home. Well, he called in my office yesterday. He said he was a neighbor of yours. A retired. Talks about Kenya. Does he wear a monocle? That's the fellow, yes. Yeah. Gerald, take that call, will you? Well, what should I tell him? Tell him, uh... Come on. The telephone is Scotland Yard phoning. Major key V on the key V. And look... All clear, maybe? My pen. My good luck pen. It must have brought... Hey, hey. In that case... Now you're making fun of me again. Everybody but you, Jerry. Get yourself some sleep. I'm going to curl up on the couch. How does one, uh, uh... Ain't you never had fish and chips before? This can't be fishing. You know, sir? What? I don't... I mean, you really act like a gent. You have great character. You're an extraordinary girl. Where are you going? The gentleman with the monocle has slipped until I get on board a liner. Just small fry. I think that you'd better... My solicitors, I mean. I can't come back here, and I want... My greatest anxiety last night was in getting you mixed up in my affairs. And uh, here. Oh, no. Yeah, I think it'd be safer. Don't come all right. It's amazing how reassuring the sunlight is. But I was pretty jumpy last night. I knew I'm going to get what? Trust me, huh? I... You promised me a pill. Forgive me. I might have known you wish. Huh? Mm. And her good morning, Fräulein. What's it? Sort of a brooch in the window. Yeah, yeah. I show it to you. That's what you wanted, huh? So beautiful, that piece of jewelry. And so... How much is this one? 
Ten shillings, Fräulein. Very... No silver. Better. It's chromium. Time I tell you, you would have it still when you die. I present you with this dangerous weapon, mademoiselle, with my undying gratitude. There you are, sir. On kiss. Thank you, my dear. Best I could do. After all, you know you phoned. Like... Aren't you going to ask any questions? Only one. You don't realize the power of your name. That is precisely what makes and I know better than all their invisible men. This the uh, oak dish. How to deposit it? Huh? Very good. I don't want it. Unsworthy will tell you. I won't take it. You'll want it. If you say one word of thanks, I'll tear out your hair, Jerry. <laughs> you stubborn little monkey. She won't do anything I ask her to. Anyone else ask for me? He was continually referring to you. Hence, and now he's been joined by the military-looking gentleman who visited you last week. Not at all, sir. Very much. Good luck. You fool. <laughs> Suicide. Suicide. Don't you believe it, huh? Now, see here, I've had enough of this. Don't you see that your own safety lies? Will you drag this human leech off me? I will not. I'm going to the other. And there's your ticket. Goodbye, and take it from me. Beyond recognition by the train, a positive identification car on his right cheek who escaped after presenting the wrong ticket. But who was killed? I don't know. The British police. Perhaps I was a. Hey. Huh? No. Do you know where my brother lives? No. Three weeks. Tell me all he can. By that time, I'll have a beard. Address it to, uh, to. Have you got a pencil? I'll write it down for you. Over there in the basket. D, F, F is for fool. There you are. Now you can't forget. And remember. Thank you. 
I'm not, I'm never going to see you again. last a few hours. I shall remove the outside stone when you're stir. You will have to take my word as a fellow hunter. Are you ready? 
ready? Sidestone, open your side of the cave and you'll see. Hand it out through the vent hole. It's sign. Propose to have my wrist seized. Come on out, Thorndyke. Oh. Surely, then, the death of a girl like that would be... A soldier needs a crest for his hat. Of course, an objective are clearly marked on this map. Yes, sir. Here. One of the men just played... And from now on, somewhere within Germany, it may be days, Mott faces his destiny.